This year's Workers Memorial Ceremony took on new meaning in light of the risks that healthcare workers, teachers, grocery workers, and other frontline employees faced during the COVID-19 pandemic. Especially this year, of all years, um, I think it was important to mourn the deaths of the countless workers who died um, due to COVID and to non-COVID related uh, issues on the job. Adrian Singleton says he also wants to celebrate the work that employees perform and the ways in which employees stepped up to help each other during the pandemic. He says issues exacerbated by COVID-19 show that unions still have an important role in the United States. We have people who don't have health insurance. We have people who are living paycheck to paycheck and organized labor uh, is, the, is the path forward to building that better world, in my view. Members of the Greater Lafayette Democratic Socialists of America chapter attended the ceremony to spread the word about the Protecting the Right to Organize, or PRO Act. It was passed by the U.S. House of Representatives. It ends right to work laws. It also makes it easier for workplaces to unionize. Um, and it prevents employers from interfering with attempts to unionize. Greater Lafayette Democratic Socialists of America co-chair Olivia Garner says she thinks it's important for Hoosiers to speak up, even though Indiana is a Republican right to work state and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce opposes the PRO Act. Part of what we're wanting to do is get people to make video testimonials talking about why they support the PRO Act to sort of improve the visibility of workers in Indiana. The Greater Lafayette Democratic Socialists of America will hold a May Day picnic with food, entertainment, and speeches about worker solidarity. It will run from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. tomorrow at Happy Hollow Park in West Lafayette. Chris Morrissey, Vita Star City News, Tippecanoe County.